Will eating too late at night make you gain weight? First, I'm Alex with Almond Milk is Nuts and welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe to see upcoming videos. Clients often ask me, Alex, what time should I stop eating? Is it too late to eat bread after 7 p.m.? And the answer is no, bread does not magically become more fatty after 7 p.m. Your body does, however, know how active you've been during the day and also what you've eaten throughout the day. So say you woke up and you weren't very hungry, so you skip breakfast, and then by the time you got to lunch, you're starving. So you have a pretty, pretty solid lunch. And then dinner time rolls around, and since you had that large lunch, you're not very hungry, so you kind of have a small thing for dinner or a snack. Then nine o'clock rolls around, and you really haven't eaten since one. You're starving, but you're going to bed at 10. What should you do? So the answer is, have something small, maybe some whole wheat toast with peanut butter. If you're going to be up longer, maybe you're studying, you're working, you're hanging out, you're having a good time. Eating something with protein, complex carbs and healthy fats is gonna be most beneficial for your body. So an example of that could be a sandwich, having some whole wheat bread, some lean turkey, avocado, veggies, and that's really gonna give you everything that you need so that your body can do some repairs and also keep you nourished and full throughout the night. Your body does a lot of repairs when you're sleeping. When Even though your brain's kind of off and you're in slumberland, your body is working hard. So if you don't have enough fuel, meaning food in your body, your body can't function appropriately. It can't repair as efficiently and it creates a lot more work for your body. When you're sleeping, your body works hard to repair organs, muscles, and so many other cells. It also releases hormones to strengthen your immune system and circulate throughout your bloodstream. So it's really beneficial to make sure that you're eating balanced meals throughout the day and also not waiting too late from your last meal before you go to bed. And again, we want to make sure that we're not eating something too heavy in the evening. Maybe not a giant pasta dish, but maybe a small pasta dish, something small or a snack just to hold you over, satisfy your hunger and also nourish your body. You spend about a fifth of your night's sleep in deep sleep. Now, a lot of repairs happen during this time, and it's really important that you're not starving because it's easy to wake up in the middle of the night if you're hungry. I know that's definitely happened to me. Feeling hungry, you don't get great sleep. Sometimes you have crazy dreams, things get wild. Um, but you wanna make sure that you have enough food in your system so that you do have a good sleep and you wake up feeling rested and not groggy and tired and sluggish. It really helps to set you up for a good day, and I know we can all use that. It's best to have moderate meals throughout the day, a nice breakfast, a nice lunch, a nice dinner, snacks throughout, and that'll keep your energy more stable and also help with weight loss. Back to the question of what time should I stop eating? So the rule of thumb I tell my clients is to have your last meal or a snack about an hour before you go to bed. So if you go to bed at say 10 o'clock, it's nine, you're still hungry, have something small. But if you're gonna be up for longer, if you have some work to do, you're really into your favorite show, you're hanging out with friends and you're hungry, honor your hunger. That's so important. Listening to your body and eating intuitively is the best tool you can develop for yourself. The best advice I can give you is to listen to your body. Your body knows what you need. Now, this can take a lot of practice. It doesn't come naturally to everybody and that's okay, but it is a learned behavior, meaning you can teach yourself to do it. So instead of spending all your time planning and tracking and making meals, you can listen to, ooh, what sounds good? What's my energy level at? Could I use some carbs right now? Do I need more protein? I haven't had a vegetable in a while. Listening to your body's hunger cues tells you a lot of what you need. Overall, if you're physically hungry, no matter what time of day it is, eat something. We all have different schedules. Some people are night owls, some people are morning people, but overall, your body doesn't care. It doesn't know that it's 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. It knows if you're hungry or not. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and I'll see you guys in the next one.